Okay, everybody, welcome, welcome to my podcast. I want to talk about a, well, I'm going to ramble it off here. I'm going to talk about a uh, TikTok app that you people are interested in. Uh, the TikTok app that, and uh, a whole bunch of apps out there in the world. <laughs> TikTok. Maybe, maybe this one, uh, uh, fresh your memory, United States and Canada. Uh, TikTok app is only an app that you can do videos with for 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm laughing, folks. Uh, 15, 20 minutes, uh, you can do a video on TikTok, and it's a good service, it's a good service. Harper to believe that uh, this app is great. TikTok app is wonderful. They're not getting rid of it, they're staying put. Uh, most importantly, they're, uh, they're promoting this thing. They're promoting this thing on baseball games and a lot of sporting events. Uh, so yeah, TikTok has uh, a lot of money invested in this, as they say, in business-wise. Um, so yeah, TikTok invests a lot of money and a lot of time to really, really, really get it out there. TikTok is kind of like an app in itself. It's not like YouTube where you upload a video each second time. Um, and these are subscriber based. This is your subscriber base to your users, to the subscriber base to your uh, viewership. How many people are watching this thing? How many subscriber base you're subscribing to? Uh, to YouTubers that you kind of appreciate. Um, you go, they're going to call these people out on YouTube. They're really going to call these people out. Uh, and uh, I just want to say, if you're a YouTuber yourself, remember, you're great what you do. You're, you're a creator. You're a great YouTube videos that you appreciate or the viewers would appreciate. And uh, just remember that. Just remember that. You're the person who creates these videos for viewers out there to really appreciate these videos. It doesn't matter what their videos are. I've seen uh, a wide range of videos out there uh, to your um, urban exploring, to your urban <laughs> exploring, what else, oh, to your uh, fix it people, to the First Amendment videos, and a um, whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of them. All you have to do if you're uh, researching uh, videos on YouTube, just go do a, a search on them on a search bar, uh, go up to the top uh, uh, of the screen and do a search bar on them. Just type in any name, any name video, it'll pop up somewhere. Um, and uh, I just want to iterate that uh, this video will definitely go up on YouTube if anyone were to ask around me. Um, and uh, I want to I want to be a creator. I want to be a creator that creates videos and audio portions and just a regular podcast like you and I would do. Uh, I'm not going to have guests here. Uh, I don't have famous guests here. I don't want to really have famous guests here. I'm not like, uh, you know, I'm not like George Norrie, Coast to Coast AM, who has guests every week. Um, but I want to say one quick thing for the, uh, for, for the enthusiastic people out there. Just go out there and film the Urban Explorer. The Urban Explorer is essentially this. Go out there and explore the world. That's Urban Explorer. And just explore the world. See what you find. See what you find out there with the urban exploring. Uh, just go out there, take a camera, explore the world. Stuff that haven't been seen before on videos, on videos, rare videos. And uh, you might learn something, a history of a place and things. Um, what I've learned from the previous uh, videos, I learned that uh, Bob Lazar is not talking about UFOs anymore. Anymore. He's low-key. He's low key. Uh, I mentioned that in the last video. Uh, Bob Lazar, who's so called guy who used to work at Area 51, uh, and the rest of them as well. Uh, uh, this is a secret naval base in a Nevada area. If you've ever been to Nevada area, it's there. Uh, it's secret naval base. You can't go down there officially, but Bob Lazar did work at there. A special kind of plane that flies, uh, that flies down there. Uh, for these people to work down at Area 51, the secret naval base. It's so secret that people can't go down there. They can't really go down there. Uh, a lot of things in the world can be private and public. Uh, the private stuff around the world is Area 51. They don't, they don't tell you that there's aliens there or alien crafts there. All they're going to say is they're low-key and they don't want to discuss it anymore. And so bear that with mind. So there's, there's a lot of videos out there that explain what Area 51 is. Um, tons and tons of videos. And uh, Bob Lazar is one of these people who really opened up the floodgates of UFO existence. 
uh, alien craft or extraterrestrial, as they called it. Extraterrestrial. Now, think for a sec. These are extraterrestrials from other worlds, other worldly worlds. And they come from, I know this knowledge firsthand, uh, from hearing people on YouTube videos and just gathering information that I have that I already know. Um, these are people that are so-called in the know. Uh, so, like I said, folks, these are extraterrestrials. The word says extraterrestrials from another, from another planet. These are from another planet because they zoom around with alien crafts, alien crafts. And uh, people are wondering if Area 51 has alien crafts or aliens. How do you say little aliens or so-called little aliens? Green? They're not green aliens. They're not, uh, uh, you know, uh, beings like aliens like another planet. They're already here to see what uh, human beings are doing, not to destroy the humans in another world. To make sure they're going, they're going to places that they shouldn't go, uh, and they're flying around with a compulsion system. Uh, and uh, yeah, so just remember, it's a super soaker. <laughs> and, yeah, so aliens are here to stay. They're here to stay. Uh, the Pentagon, as you qu quietly uh, say, the Pentagon. Uh, the people have described these aliens as unidentified flying objects. And they're seen on video. Seen on video, told by a lot of people. And the uh, Pentagon has announced this, come publicly announced this, as alien crafts, like vehicles. And pulsions, they use pulsions in their vehicles. Uh, no aircraft, no, uh, uh, you know, airplane has used this sort of thing. It, fly, it goes upward really fast and zooms really fast. Uh, so it's it, it, they use pulsion systems. They use so-called pulsion systems uh, to really fly really fast. They can't go. They go as fast as as we ten times as fast as an airplane, even the planes they have today. So uh, so Bob Lazar, as you know, I'm not kidding. Go look it up. Bob Lazar is the guy that talks about aliens from in the early '80s up till the '90s. And uh, while I know this, because I know this from doing research, folks. And Bob Bazaar is a guy, he's one of the guys who's one of these people around the world that's happened to be at Area 51. He has a true story about this. But in 2003, he was just low-key. He didn't want to talk about aliens or anything like that. He, he went on to big and better things. So he moved on from that so-called alien thing. So, but there's been interviews about him saying this stuff. So... And, uh, yeah, so if you're looking at a person who talks about aliens, Area 51, Nevada area, Bob Lazar would be your guy who would talk about this sort of thing. But he's low-key at the moment. He's low-key. He doesn't talk about it very much. So he'd rather not talk about this completely. Uh, but he's worked there. He's worked there in the early 80s and 90s. And uh, years and years later, he doesn't want to talk about it. In 2003... Art Bell, as a lot of you people do know, he passed away some time ago. Uh, he was a radio station host, and he passed away. He had Bob Lazar on live on, on the radio station. Uh, the one and only Bob Lazar. And uh, he, you heard from him. He's now working on other things besides aliens. He's working on uh, car things and stuff like that. So he, he has a lot on his plate. Let's put it that. He says a lot on his plate. He doesn't want to talk about aliens or anything of that sort. Uh, but he worked about it in the past. I really iterate that. I want to iterate that strongly. Just like any person would say. And uh, yeah, so let's let's get this straight. Bob Lazar is the guy who you want to talk about aliens and alien crap. He's worked on one of these things. Uh, so it, it and one question that people are going to ask him is what is what it looks like in an alien craft, so-called alien craft. Uh, so, like I said, from an alien craft standpoint, I think it's uh, the pulsion system is only what makes the uh, alien craft go, besides everything else that's in there. Uh, so, yeah, there you go, folks. I'm out of here. Thank you very much. I said enough. I won't say any more. I won't say any more, just like a song would say. Uh, but just remember, just remember, folks, we are talking about the Pentagon. About They mentioned about the aliens of the, 
uh, or video and audio. And they also, back in the day, they used to have uh, alien come from out of the world and really did an interview. They interview a real, so-called real alien. Warning, they say warning on the video. Warning, a really alien interview from another world. And they ask a couple questions about this world and, uh, and the distant world. And uh, remember, there's a lot of, we have a universe that's big, very big, not just Earth. But out of the solar system, we have a big planets out there. Mars, Moon, you name it. Uh, so, yeah, these aliens come from far and wide. Far and wide. Did I say much? Far and wide. Uh, so they, fl they fly around. They're not, like, uh, they're not like airplanes that you go to city to city. And just remember that. They're not like, alien they're not like airplanes. They're like alien crafts, a circle kind of thing. And... Uh, so there you go, folks. We'll end this in a happy note. And I just want to say to you guys, stay safe. Wear a mask, as the health people would say. And uh, just wear the mask. Don't wash your hands, unless your hands are really that dirty. And uh, yes, uh, but wear a mask, uh, at least at least for next week. <laughs> at least for next week, okay? So remember that. Remember what you heard. And yeah, wear a mask this week. You'll be okay, okay? The word is okay. Yeah. So bear this in mind, folks. We're listening to in the background a press conference. I'm not telling you the person's name. Um, I want to give this person recognition, but uh, there's a person behind behind here doing a press conference. So anyway, that in mind, I'll see you guys on the next episode on the podcast. I'm so happy to share it with you guys. And uh, yes, many people did pass away. All black people get the short end of the stick. And uh, a lot of people, black people passed away, and I'm still stunned. Uh, and uh, it's all white. Okay, all lives matter. All lives matter. Not just black people. All lives matter. So anyway, I'm going to end it with a, a thought here. I'm going to end with a thought. Just be nice to uh, all out there. You'd be good. You'd be the best person possible. People smile at you a lot because you're a good person. You're a real good person. Just remember that, folks. They'll spell you back, say you're a good person. So keep that word. So if someone smells back at you, they don't mean they're going to harm you or anything. It means they like you. So just remember that. So, folks, keep that in mind. Keep the thoughts. Uh, keep going. And uh, you two YouTubers, keep doing what you do. Well, don't forget, explore with Danny before I go. Explore with Danny. I'm very happy of my own life. And you guys, just keep up the good work. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. Peace.